Without enough fodder, there won't be enough milk. How will the prison ensure they produce enough fodder for their cows? We are taking Mr. Kinoti, the farm manager, to meet a farmer and son team. And an expert, David Jenga from Advanta, a partner under the two-scale KDPL, Kieni Dairy Products Limited partnership, to learn more. I've just fed my cows maize silage and lucerne. And why do you give them that? Those are the things we use to minimize our cost of production. Right. Okay. And in terms of energy, nutrients and everything, maize is the best. Is Charles correct in what he's saying? Oh, on point. Yes. You need to take care of the fodder. You need to cut at the right stage. And that is what Mr. Yeah. Charles does. So that when you feed the cow, it's benefiting from all the nutrients that a cow desires from that fodder. And therefore it will cut down on the cost of production for his milk and he will remain in business for a longer time. Uh -huh. yes. what, what do you mean cutting at the right stage? Like for example, maize silage. You have to cut at the dove milk stage. So yeah. when you press the grain and it's a bit tough, so the starch level is a bit higher. I've heard uh, from other quarters. Yes. People talking about cutting the maize at the milk stage. Yes. Which is now the right stage. So the right stage is it's when it is tough because it has concentrated enough energy uh -huh, uh -huh, in the cob. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And unfortunately, most of the farmers, they remove the cob, they give the stock, uh -huh. they prepare silage. Uh -huh, uh -huh, so uh -huh. that one is completely empty. You are giving a cow empty. Charles, yes. why are you giving uh, your cows uh, lucerne? Lucerne is a protein fodder. Uh -huh. Because I grew it there, instead of going to the duka to buy sunflower, cotton seed cake, I reduce my cost of production by giving them lucerne. A cow requires around 70% of energy. Mm -hmm. So 30% is protein. So this will come from lucerne, there is desmodium, there is cotton seed cake, there is dairy meal, there is soya. Any other crops, Charles? I have desmodium, mm -hmm. I have uh, super napier. I tried sorghum and sugar grease, but they didn't do well here, I think because of the cold. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go see the shamba. Yes, okay. thank you. We get a tour of the shamba with Mr. Ndungu, who is in charge of fodder at the prison. This entire shamba is dedicated to fodder crops. I have a total of about six acres of maize. Mm. Some of them are getting ready, others are at this stage, mm -hmm. uh, in preparation of what we call maize silage. Ndungu, do you grow maize as a fodder? No, we don't. Did growing maize cut your costs? Definitely. You see now when you grow your maize and uh, also prepare it for silage, on average you use about six to eight shillings. You can even go as low as four. Right now if you want to buy a kilo of uh, what we call maize silage, it is going to 15 to 16 shillings. And during the dry spell it was going even up to 20, 22. Wow. So you can see the difference that if you grow your maize and you grow it properly so that one acre can give you the maximum you're supposed to produce, it will do a lot of saving. Where I come from? Yeah. Farmers are growing in every hole. Yeah. Two of them. Yes. Now you are. Mm. You have grown one, one, one. One, one, one. The same, you have told me, it's 75 by one feet. Yeah, by 30, yeah. That way, the whole of this stock with the maize, if it is doing very well, it will range between five and six kilograms. If you do two or three, you may have stock, but you may not have maize. Chairman Bogo here is so lucky to be in the highlands and growing, you know, different kind of fodder crops. What about the other farmers in other regions? What can they grow? For low altitude, they can grow sorghum, which is very good, and the millets. Uh, drought tolerant, and then also it is high yielding, and they ensure the cost of production is very low. The beauty is that you can cut severally, so it is growing your cutting. Then you go to high altitude, we have maize, we have oats, and then yeah. also we have alfalfa. Alfalfa can be grown in high altitude and mid altitude, uh -huh. and it can perform very well. What are the benefits of growing fodder? You know, you cannot keep animals without a feed. If you have enough food, you have enough product, which is a milk. Most of the farmers, you start by bringing the cow instead of having enough fodder. Then you buy your beautiful cow, it is producing 40 liters. Then within two weeks, three weeks, it's producing only a cup of milk. Mm. So it is very important to do what we call a feed plan and know what is the requirement so that you know what quantity of maize I need to grow it this acreage, just like the way Chairman has been expanding. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, good. Chairman, mm. when you started growing maize for fodder, yeah. what did your neighbors think? 
oh, they thought I had gone crazy. What? Especially the first time I made my silage. Mm. You know, the mist was very green and uh, it was uh, beautiful. And then one morning they found that I had cut down more than an acre of uh, mist and it was all down. They thought you had And insane. they were wondering whether I had a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, later on, they have realized that you cannot uh, do dairy farming without feeds. Very impressive. Shamba, let's see it. Let's see more.